Hello friends, you are welcome to Custom 2 Venture. I appreciate every one of you. I say thank you so, so much for always being there each time I upload new content. I want to say thank you and God bless you. And then each time you watch my video, please don't forget it like it share it and subscribe yes subscribe thanks so so much okay today i'll be drafting the pattern of ko neckline with illusion okay each time you watch my video Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and then click on the bell icon beside it so that each time I upload new content, creative, educative content could be among the first set of people that will receive it. Okay, let's get started into the business. Okay, I'll be cutting this uh, design key boat neckline with illusion. And of course, I'm still going to add a total neck to it. Okay. Then, each time you want to cut your fabric or pattern paper, always make sure it's on fold. It's on fold. Double it. And then, your, your fabric, when it's on fold, you should take the largest measurement you have. For instance, this one is the chest is the largest measurement I'm using for this one. So you can see it's done fold already. So by then we are cutting it, we are cutting one quarter. And when open, it will be half. So I will start from the neck, the shoulder. I mean, the shoulder is 10 inches. 10 inches divided by 2, I will have 5. 5 plus half an inch for the sewing allowance. So I'll be having 5.5 .5 or 5.5 five inches. Then from the end of that shoulder measurement, I measure it down the arm hole line. I'll be using 5 inches. 5 inches. Though it's still going to be deducted by the time I'm measuring the slanting. The slanting shoulder, I will deduct it later. Okay, all the same. I measure 5 inches now. And then measure the extended one out. Okay, we have created the arm hole line already. So the next one I'll be going for the chest line from the shoulder to the chest. I need six inches to the half length, eight inches. The sewing allowance. For joining half an inch so I draw them out okay this it will be having the princess dart so I will be taking the dart I take the dart or boss points so I take two and a half two inches plus five, half an inch so in allowance there i will take two inches then down the joining line two inches too so i connect them together okay so the shoulder slant is about three quarter because it's a baby pattern i'm sewing so put your slant there and then the curve for the arm o beautiful and so the next thing to measure the take the body measurements but before that we we should find out the measurement for the arm of force which is five inches half of five inches is a 2.5 or two and a half so i'm connecting it to the that line just come up at half an inch so that I can give it a curve shape 
very well. That place must not be pointed. Yes, it should be cough. And then the, the princess line is supposed to come out. Because it's a princess line, you have to measure out. By the time you cut, it's going to be short if you don't extend it. So I'll be extending it by just one inch. Then from there, create a new armhole. That is our new armhole now. We will not take the former one. Okay. So the next thing, I cut it. Okay, before we cut the boat design, we're going to put the boat design there. Yes. Come up by, I will create the sweet neck line first. If you look at the picture where the sweet neck line. So I cut it from there. Okay. So from that chest line up, you take two inches. Two inches. And then one inch from that princess line. And then join it together. You can see the boat shape where the illusion will be is already formed. Then the next thing we I call the neck design the neck design will be two inches by two inches two inches deep two inches wide then join it together join together and then create a cuff to give it a round neck yes give it a round neck then we're good to go we cut it then we put our measurements on it cut that place out there my measurement which is 28 divided by four i have seven seven because of the princess that i will add extra to make it eight then on that i'll be using seven and a half with the measurements of the princess that inclusive okay and then join it together join it together to give a shape and i call the paper call the pattern paper when you are cut you always have a separate scissors to cut paper pattern paper so that doesn't affect your scissors okay Sees them fine. You see it now. These are all the things we have cut. This is the where the illusion will be. The main part of the body. Then the yes, it's the same whichever way you turn it, yes. This is what we have cut. And then I will use this one to cut out the fabric. Use it to cut out the fabric. Let me quickly cut the back panel too. I'll be following the same measurement for the back pattern. For the back pattern, the difference there is that there is zip allowance there. One inch allowance for the zip. Because the cloth will be taking zip. Then the length line is going to be one inch deep. One inch deep. Two inches wide like the front one. Join them and then give it a cuff. Give it a cuff. There's no illusion at the back. Okay, so that one just like that. And it depends on the kind of dart you want to put. I'm using precess dart. If you like, you can use straight dart as you like it. Okay, the it doesn't any dart you put is your choice. Any dart you can go for the normal straight one, you can go with the princess one like I I put. Take your measurements. 
follow the measurement of the front or you can also do it if you want to so just place the front pattern on it and cut it okay okay before we cut it we have to extend the princess that out yes like we did for the front one and then create a new arm o so we are good to go we can now cut it cut it cut it okay Put notch the on the neck there so that you know where you're going to add it when you are sewing. Okay, though we are still going to separate it on the fabric. The zip is supposed to stay there, so it's not going to come out like this. Okay. So the next thing I'll be cutting the fabric, the pattern paper with the fabric. So I place it on it. If you look at it, I created half an inch for sewing allowance so i'm going to cut that half an inch with it so that by the time i'm joining it it won't be short so for that illusion in the middle it's going to be next so i'm not going to leave the boat open i will put that illusion there that net there okay this is what i will do for all the pattern papers cut all of them one by one and lo and behold they are all cut. That is the front pattern. Okay. You can see how it has come out again. And that is the... This one is the back pattern. The back pattern. Okay. That's how it's going to be. Okay, that is there. The next thing now is to get to the machine and fix it. Okay, now on the machine and notch the center of the the lotion. Okay, and notch the center of the upper one too. I can get it right. Then you fix this, join them together. Okay, join them together. Let it fixed, and that's how we join the remaining ones. Okay, they'll be joined. The front panel, the back panel will be joined. The zip has been fixed. Okay, so we have to join the shoulder together now. Then take the measurements of the body again, which is 28 inches. 28 inches divided by 2, I will have 14. So we trim it to it. Trim it and then join them together. Look at the neck. I did not take the neck because I'll be putting turtle neck there. Okay, I'll be putting the turtle neck there, and that's why it's not joined. That's why it's not taped. That's why I didn't line it there to be doubled. Okay, everything's not joined. Okay, I'll be putting an end to this first session of it. Okay. So I'll be seeing on my next video where well, I'll be starting from here to put the sleeve. I put the sleeve. I will join the lower part of the dress to it. I want to say be thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. See you next in my next video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Bye.